And now moving on to business, the transition company of Nigeria has announced that the nation's power industry attained another all-time national peak electricity generation of 5,459.5 megawatts. It said this quantum of electricity was efficiently transmitted through the nation's transmission grid at a frequency of 50.26 uh, heads by 8.15 p.m. on October 28. The general manager, Public Affairs TCN in Didimba, said this milestone in generation is higher than any peak ever recorded in the nation's power industry as a date. She added the new peak surpasses the 5,420.30 megawatts achieved on 18th of August 2020 by 39.2 megawatts. The acting managing director, TCN, Suli Abdulaziz, commended all the players in the power sector uh, value chain for the feat. And we now have uh, joining us uh, Mr. Rumundaka Wonodi, the founder and CEO of ZKJ Energy Partners Limited. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. All right. So according to the Transmission Company of Nigeria, this is the highest ever um, figure we've been able to generate. Uh, what would you say could be responsible for the increased generation capacity? Well, um, first and foremost, yes, that is correct. That is the highest that has been transmitted uh, through our system. But um, the generation capacity has always been there. Uh, what the constraint has been is uh, transmission and distribution. So uh, what that means is that uh, some of the constraints along transmission and distribution has been eased off. Uh, we have... Uh, currently at least about 7,000 megawatts of uh, uh, generation that is available on every other day. So uh, this continues to be an improvement in transmission and distribution. And if you recall, the um, presidential power initiative that is looking at, or that it's being worked out with uh, Siemens, uh, the first focus is actually to increase uh, distribution and transmission capacity such that it could go up to 7,000 megawatts in the next one year or two. So this is about transmission and distribution. Okay, and, and um, what you've just mentioned, I would like you to go further with what you just mentioned, um, increasing it to 7,000. Um, what you know, are the things that would be needed to be put in place for us to achieve that? Uh, that would mean constructing new... Uh, transmission lines, completing some of the projects that are uh, in construction. It would also mean new substations, both uh, transmission substations and distribution substations. It would also mean uh, constructing some more uh, distribution lines, uh, changing of transformers and all that you have. The whole thing is that you need to expand the system, not just only expand it, but you also need to strengthen them. So in some instances, you might actually have to reconduct the, the lines, you know, so pull out the old cables and put new cables. It's a, a com comprehensive set of work that needs to be done. All right, and, and um, I, I would like us to speak also on the issues um, with the distribution companies. The discos have also had their own challenges with being able to spread this electricity um, that they, of course, uh, get. Um, so how do you think, you know, we can make that easier um, um, for the distribution companies uh, now? How is this likely to be distributed? Well, I think that the very first thing is uh, the, the constraint, the major constraint is uh, finance. It's, it's uh, getting the capital to make the investments. What needs to be done, it's... Um, um, it's one of the things that I've just mentioned that you need to go within the network and resize some of the transformers. You have transformers that maybe uh, uh, 100 MVA, uh, they need to be sized up and changed to 200 MVA and things like that. And then you have cables that are, um, you know, the integrity of the cables are, are questionable. They, they've been in the system for over 40 years, they're weak, you need to change them. And then there are feeders. So it's a comprehensive thing uh, starting from, you know, the, the doors of the consumers all the way to the substations and then to the transmission. Uh, it's a comprehensive work. Uh, but I think that the most 
the bigger constraint for distribution companies now is capital. And, and what would you also say needs to be done so we do not you know, go less than the current figures and we're able to maintain uh, this? Well, you know, one of the problems we have with our transmission system is that they are radial in nature. So you just find a long line of transmission running for hundreds of uh, kilometers without uh, looping. So I, we believe that one of the things that we need to do is uh, we need to loop our system in such a way that uh, there will be redundancy so that if a line falls or there is a tower, um, then you could uh, use alternative routes to move power. So for the short term, uh, it would be very difficult to maintain this uh, because if there is any, um, if there's any challenge to a section of a particular transmission line, there will be no, no way to loop that. Uh, hopefully we could, we could get there by completing so many of the projects that have been out there for you know, many years, some of them even uh, over a decade. Uh, the, the current administration has also done some um, work with regards to investment in power um, in the last few years. Um, would you give them a, a plus you know, for being able to achieve this feat um, based on their work and their investments in power generation? And then um, also the, there's reports that the federal government is about to distribute 30 million prepaid meters for free. Um, how do you think that will work? And, you know, are we on track to light up the whole nation? Well, you know, the, the issue of meters is a matter of, uh, uh, it's fairness. It's, and also, uh, also trying to shore up revenue so that consumers pay for what they consume and their uh, limited uh, commercial losses. But in terms of, uh, how much we've done with increasing the, um, how much power that is put through the system, I think uh, we've not done very well. Uh, going back to 2012, we were at 4,800, we, we hit that peak. And today, uh, eight years later, uh, we've just gone to 5,450. Uh, so if you look at that, that's about 100 every year. Uh, so across the years, we've not done very well. It's not a matter of this uh, administration or, or, or the other. But I think that what is important is that uh, we should support the current uh, initiative to work with Siemens to actually expand the transmission and distribution. You see, what we've done in the past is that we made investment in transmission without really thinking about how that is going to increase the power that passes through the system. Uh, investments are made where there is no load and um, it's not commercial. So we, we hope that going forward, the investments will be made along the lines right. that would allow more power to be evacuated from generation companies and sent through transmission, through distribution to homes and businesses. Mr. Rumundaka Wonodi, thank you so much for speaking with us uh, and um, have, a, of course, a very interesting weekend ahead. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.